Exploring exotic and unexplored places sounds like an interesting idea for adventure lovers. The history of such adventures has many tragic incidents in its bucket. But this video is about the tragic demise of famous cave explorer Donald Wertner. He was a Boy Scout all his life and had previously taken Boy Scouts on cave trips as a scout leader. However, this was reportedly the first time they had visited the Crooked Swamp Cave. These caves are considered to be the longest cave system stretching up to 1250 feet in New Jersey's Crooked Swamp. The cave is a narrow passage through the limestone bedrock. It is a large marsh complex at the headwaters of the Poling Skill River, providing important habitat for many plants and animal species, such as the federally endangered bog turtle and state-threatened long-tailed salamander. Also, great blue heron rookery is sourced by numerous springs, which with time have slowly dissolved away. The mineral bedrock forms several parallels and connecting passages during winter and spring. It is too flooded to permit exploration from the main entrance of cave number two at the southwest end is the only passage leading directly back to the five foot high room. That should only be attempted by those who are very thin. The side passage requires much squeezing caution is advised in the five foot high room because of an unstable and potentially dangerous ceiling. Beyond this room is possible to touch hands with someone coming from the second entrance, but only very small sized cavers can pass them. The grim day of the mishap on the afternoon of 28 March 1982 around 2 p.m. Scoutmaster Donald Weltner along with 12 scouts, including his two sons named Christopher, 14 years old, and Roger, 11 years old, entered an unexplored area of the cave. As the team moved forward, Donald Weltner fell into a 17-foot deep and 18 by 20-inch crevice in heads-down position, making him wedged at a narrow right angle in the passage. His head got stuck at a 30-degree downward angle, he could move neither forward nor backward. The crevice was locked by the rock that pressed tighter on him. Before moving further in the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Let's continue. Rescuers pronounced that the phase wherein he fell became uncharted and unexplored. It became later observed that the slender fissure opened into some other cave below the rescue operation of his sons and some other scoutmaster Jim Ewing seemingly attempted for numerous hours to rescue him. Employees spent three complete days and a part of a fourth drilling a 16-foot, 8-inch vertical shaft into the cave, after which drilling a foot rectangular of Newton Memorial. After coming into the rocky slope of excavation that employees have been reducing within the side, the hillside protecting the Cave Kingdom police stated they ultimately heard grunts from him at 2 a.m. Sunday. Colonel Pagano and others on the webpage have been extraordinarily pessimistic approximately his possibilities for survival due to the fact a nurse crawled via a 75-foot passageway within inside the cave Sunday morning and observed no essential symptoms and symptoms of existence that pulse factors in his toes and legs. However, rescue employees by no means stop setting warm water bottles at the trooper's head and toes with inside the stunning hazard he might be retrieved alive a harness and ropes had been connected to the frame however in six hours of pulling rescuers had been capable of flow at simplest approximately a foot after that failure demolition of the bedrock protecting the cave's passages became ordered via way of means of the usage of dynamite and rock drill, the whole rescue undertaking became marked via way of means of the volunteerism of citizens of this agricultural network of 1600 with inside the Dairy Farm United States of America of Sussex County neighborhood firemen, paramedics, and motorway employees who labored tough along the expert cave rescuers and kingdom police. He has been formally stated lifeless 20 minutes earlier than the frame became pulled out via way of means of the employees. However, Darlution Fletcher Jur stated the 48-year antique Donald had been lifeless for a while earlier than the demise pronouncement. After his frame became eliminated, blood may want to be visible at the limestone boulder wherein his head had laid. However, it became uncertain if he had suffered any harm from a rock that fell on him on the time he becomes trapped, or from stones loosened in the course of the drilling, 
and blasting different elements of demise may also consist of. This is how the poor soul suffers this adventure. As you make it this far, please let us know in the comment what do you think of this incident. Please leave a like and subscribe to Cavastrophe. Thanks for watching.